So I'm speaking to you today from the floor of the house. It's a beautiful place to work, obviously. We're very lucky and fortunate to be in this beautifully restored chamber. The house chamber is uh, flanked by portraits of the governors. We have room for 110 representatives in here. Beautiful artwork everywhere. And we actually do our day-to-day -day work here in the session. One of the jobs I have this session is as the caucus chair. And as such, I get to sit in this desk right here, desk number four. And it's where I, I sit and I can do my work, but I can also easily go to a microphone and call for caucus. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. The other uh, elected officials that serve as leadership, floor leader, the majority whip, assistant pro, uh, speaker pro tem and so forth, would sit in this general area here so they can have quick access to the rostrum, the main chair where they conduct business. So in the good old days, people talked about politics taking place in smoke-filled back rooms, and we don't have smoke-filled rooms anymore because there's no smoking in the Capitol. But we do have back rooms, and the back rooms are used for the caucuses uh, of the Democratic and the Republican members here. So follow me, and we'll take a look at the back room. Go down this back hallway, and this is our caucus room. Like all the rest of the Capitol, it's been beautifully restored, full of artwork. We have, again, portraits of the governors to kind of look down on us and remind us of the important work that they did and inspire us and so forth. And um, there's room in here for every member of our Republican caucus. In the front here, the speaker would sit at the center here and uh, the floor leader, and I would sit there as a caucus chair. The floor leader would set the agenda for the meeting. The speaker would set the tone, set the the uh, vision, if you would. What I would do as a caucus chair is I would moderate the discussion and debate that the people would have in the meetings. You've got to keep in mind there's over 20 committees in the House, and so everybody sits on three or four committees. They don't know what's going on in the other committees sometimes until they come into this room, they read their policy work, and they, they have the, a chance to ask questions and discuss and debate these things. So my job as a caucus chair is to moderate that debate, to give everybody a chance to be heard, uh, make sure the questions are asked and answered to everyone's satisfaction so that when we leave this room, we've got the best possible understanding about the legislation that we're voting on.